Okay, hello everyone. Thank you all for joining us for today's Turn Your Spreadsheets into the Data You Need with Venice Solutions webinar. My name is Lauren Hogan. I'm a Regional Marketing Coordinator here at JMT, and we're very excited to have our own um, Chris Radicone, who is our Client Account Manager, as well as Nick Renfro, who is our Solution Specialist, joining us today. So just a couple of housekeeping notes before I turn it over to Chris and Nick. If you have any questions during the webinar today, please go ahead and submit them into the Q&A section as you think of them. We'll save them all until the end of the presentation, but don't hesitate to submit as they come. Also just a reminder that we'll send you both some handouts and the recording of today's webinar within 24 hours after it has concluded. And with that, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you, Chris, to get started. Great, thank you so much, Lauren. Hello, everybody. Uh, very happy to be here again uh, with all of you. Um, as, as someone who uh, loves doing these, it's always excited to be asked to do um, these presentations. So again, happy to, uh, to be involved. Um, <clears throat> so let's get started, shall we? We are JMT. <laughs> um, and like Lauren said, uh, my name is Chris Radicone. I am the Intact Client Account Manager here at JMT. I worked uh, for JMT for four plus years at this point. Uh, working in different aspects of the uh, company. Um, I have worked for 10 years uh, within the nonprofit space, e either directly or tangentially. Um, and I just, I love doing what I do um, and love working with nonprofits and, and helping you all uh, uh, achieve uh, your ultimate goals and, and your, and your you, know, you know, basically bringing your mission to life. Um, I worked at the Children's Aid Society as a program manager um, and so I've been on both sides of the aisle, uh, both on the consulting and, again, directly working uh, with uh, nonprofits. Uh, joining me today is my good buddy and uh, Zena guru, um, Nick Redfro. Uh, so I'll, I'll let Nick introduce himself. Hey, everybody. Good to be here again. I think uh, some of you might have joined us for our last session a month or two ago, but uh, I'm Nick Renfro, uh, JMT Solutions Specialist. Uh, working specifically with Zena and the FPNA practice, <clears throat> I've been with JMT about seven months. Uh, recent graduate last May, in the midst of the pandemic, from Belmont University, graduated with a economics and finance degree, uh, and have uh, really been interested in the nonprofit sector, and came on board with JMT back in August. Awesome. Yeah, Nick, it, Nick has been a great addition to our team, and uh, I work with him very closely and uh, looking forward to continue to work with him. Um, all right, so the next slide is one that we, we show on most of our uh, webinars, but for anybody who has not joined us before, I wanted to, uh, you know, we always love to show this one because it really articulates our drive and, and mission to, to work with all of the nonprofits uh, across the country. Um, we've been doing it for over 30 years, uh, serving over 2,000 not-for-profits. Uh, as you can see on this map here, uh, we have quite a uh, uh, we have a, quite a uh, in, impact on the northeast, uh, going all the way across to the to the west coast there, um, with with concentrations across the map there. Uh, again, we we love working with nonprofits. We love working with all different kinds of organizations with all different missions, and so um, you know. It, it, Jackie, Jackie started this back in 1991 um, from her kitchen table and, you know, has grown it to to the size that you see on this map, which, again, it, it's an amazing thing. And we've just recently uh, celebrated our 30th anniversary uh, this past January, I believe. So, again, uh, it's been a great 30 years and we're hoping for another 30. So let's move on. So today we are talking about turning spreadsheets into the data you need with Venice Solutions. Um, we are essentially bringing the together the Office Workhorse Excel uh, and a, in what is my opinion, a first class SPNA solution uh, to all of you, the leaders of the nonprofit space. So uh, I want to start this in a little unorthodox way. Um, I want to talk about how the prevailing marketplace. Uh, ethos or mantra it has been uh, ditch the spreadsheet as of recently. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about Excel and how it, um, you know, it, it's a clunky tool. It's a tool that, um, 
you know, everyone uses, everyone understands, but ultimately it, uh, it leaves a little bit less to be desired. So you have plenty of competition out there saying, listen, we can do what Excel does, but we can do it better. Um, and so, um, but in our opinion, all competitors are basically just trying to mimic Excel. Uh, then I take the approach of if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And uh, we, we agree with that. And what Venet does is leverages the um, leverages Excel to the fullest capability. So uh, this is a spreadsheet, wait, but why? Well, let's do a little bit of a thought of, let's do a thought experiment for, for a moment here. And let's play devil's advocate as uh, Tim Curry will elaborate here from, if anybody remembers the movie uh, Legend, um, Great. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so here are the top five reasons to ditch the spreadsheet according to, um, well, anybody who doesn't like <laughs> spreadsheets or Excel specifically. Uh, and something I want to talk about very specifically here is um, there's, it lists five here, but in reality, there's only one. Um, but I'm going to talk about these really quick. So at the top here, you have poor collaboration and, and version control. Um, that I think is probably the most important one on here. Um, and I think the one that is actually the biggest issue when it comes to Excel and spreadsheets. Um, you know, a spreadsheet is, is made for a singular person, is for, for a, 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 an individual to use and to create um, anything from uh, collating data to, to running reports. Um, but Excel is this uh, data repository. Um, <clears throat> but the problem is, is that there's really not much around security and collaboration, meaning that anybody can open, make changes uh, at any time during the life cycle of that, of that template or sheet. And in that time, if two people are working on the same sheet, uh, they save their, their work, one person is overriding the other and vice versa. So <clears throat> uh, really what happens here is number one, basically kicks off these five, uh, these four below them. So potential for serious errors, delayed and messy reporting, costly and unscalable and lack of security control, I think are all, in my opinion, are all a, um, uh, all contingent on this very first poor collaboration and version control. Um, because again, that will then lead to potential serious errors and those errors cause a messy, um, reporting because, you know, now suddenly the numbers are, are questionable. Um, you know, folks say it's costly and unscalable because, um, you know, you're only as good as your best uh, Excel user. Um, so you're, and, and so in this case, uh, as, as the old adage goes, you're only as strong as your weakest link. And um, I, I would say that most of us aren't Excel experts. We understand Excel, we know Excel, we can use Excel for what we need it to. But beyond that, uh, no one, I, I believe, would be, um, you know, a, a master at Excel. And, and you know, um, so I, I, there, there's, um, there's a limit to what we can do with the system. And then finally, it's the lack of security controls, which again, I believe falls under the, uh, the idea of collaboration. You can't keep somebody from going into the system <clears throat> and making changes without, um, you know, without any, without anything in place to, to prevent that from happening. So uh, these are the five major reasons that, um, you know, the, prevail, the prevailing uh, world out there is saying, um, you know, Excel is, Excel is for, uh, you know, <laughs> Excel is your, is your grandpa or grandma's spreadsheet, which I don't think anybody's ever said ever, but um, it's essentially what they're trying to say. Um, so let's talk a little bit about Excel. Um, to give some context to all of this. So, uh, silly, silly uh, statement, what is Excel? Well, we all know what Excel is. Um, you know, it's been around since 1987. It utilizes Visual Basics and C++ as its um, coding language. Uh, Excel is a very helpful and powerful program for data analysis and documentation. And again, it's, it's used across the country and, and across different organizations as a basically a repository for data. Um, you know, it's a spreadsheet program which contains a number of columns and rows, which each uh, intersection of those columns and rows are called a cell, hence the name. Uh, each cell contains one point of data or one piece of information. And by organizing the information in this way, you can make the information easier to find. Now, yes, Excel has been around forever, but I don't think we can, I don't think we really um, 
give Excel the credit it is due. It is really one of the more powerful tools out there. Um, and, and when it was released in 1987, it, it, it was a, pretty much a game changer um, when it came to, um, you know, uh, cre creating a repository for data such uh, like this. So uh, why am I talking about Excel? Um, well, because I want to tie it into um, what Vena is. And what is Vena? For anybody who joined us in our last um, webinar, uh, this is going to sound very familiar to you, but uh, Vena is a financial planning and analysis solution that connects people, existing systems, and data to enable planning that is powered by reliable, instantaneous insights. Uh, their, their Excel inter, uh, interface combines unmatched integrated planning capabilities with the world's leading grid, allowing teams across the organization to work together under their, a shared vision <clears throat> using the platform that they already know. And I think that's incredibly powerful because you're no longer um, just a user of Excel. Now, if, if something happens, you understand the product. You understand what the issue might be because you know Excel. Um, and what you're doing in Excel today um, can be taken and, and essentially um, all of those um, different items, the one through five, the reasons why to ditch Excel, um, all of those are sort of done away with. Avena puts into place different security controls, uh, puts into place um, a way to ensure that the data that you're collecting is the correct data. And so <clears throat> customers choose Avena for its ease of use, the flexibility and performance, um, and again, scalability. So as you can see, that is sort of checking off those boxes um, when it comes to um, Excel's deficiencies. It's taking Excel and tying up all those, um, you know, tying up all those problems that, that, you know, Excel was sort of not failing at, but just, you know, there was no, because it's such an open source system, um, there was no way to, to, to implement controls unless you're doing it itself. Well, guess what? Venna has done that for you. So you can stay connected with Venna's FPNA software, integrate all of your business data sources, financial, non-financial, internal, internal and external, to provide a secure collaborative work environment. You can drive smarter, more data-driven business decisions with numbers you can trust. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, this is another slide that I want to talk about really quick. Uh, this was on our last uh, meeting, but it's something that I think is very powerful. 84% uh, of businesses that implement an FPA solution end up going back to Excel. So Excel forward with Venna. I, I love that. I love that phrase uh, because it really does articulate um, what, how powerful Excel is and how um, beneficial Venna is to Excel. <clears throat> I'm just going to take a quick sip. Hold on a second. Okay. So while others are telling you to ditch the spreadsheet, Venna asks that you embrace it. Excel in and of itself is an incredibly powerful tool, but often lacks the finesse of a complete solution. Well, Venna takes what you already know and gives it a shot of adrenaline, allowing you to do the things, allowing you to do things in Excel like never before. And this is not just a reporting tool. It's so much more. So um, at, the, at, the, at a very basic level, Venna is a financial planning and analysis tool. You get the analytics you need to make the correct decisions. Um, it is an integrated business planning tool as well. Plan beyond dollars and cents and take that information and apply it across the organization. Um, this one I find to be very, very, um, oh, sorry, I wasn't clicking here. Uh, this one, the agile planning uh, is very powerful, especially in, the, in, in how we are sort of doing our day-to-day -day business with, uh, you know, all, all of us working from home. Um, and especially early on when COVID hit in 2020, um, agile planning really allowed for uh, organizations to sort of get ahead of, of these major changes that were happening by, by essentially allowing what if scenarios to be um, run. And, um, you know, the, the use of a real time forecasting tool, again, gives you the data that you need that's pertinent to you at that moment. Um, you're not working on, um, you know, uh, you're not working on numbers that are, 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 are are, are sort of made up, not made up, but, um, you know, uh, assumed. They're not assumed in numbers. These are, uh, are actual hard, um, hard data. So 
beyond all of that, it's also a, an incredibly um, powerful reporting tool, uh, especially with financial reporting and regulatory compliance reporting. Uh, it's very powerful and customizable um, and allows you to run statistical and non-statistical data with ease. So you're not just doing uh, work in finance, but you can run, <coughs> excuse me, you can run uh, reports on uh, non-financial non -financial information as well, which again, it, it's, so it makes this more than just a, um, a tool for finance. But finally, uh, financial close management. This allows you to go from being behind to closing on time with up-to-date and accurate data that will allow for an expedient month-end close, giving you an end-to-end -end solution. And now here's, whoops, let me go back. <clears throat> so one thing that, uh, that that's not going to pop up here, but something I think is incredibly powerful is uh, the year-end reporting tools for C-suite board members. I know this sounds like sort of an afterthought, but I honestly think this piece really articulates something that uh, that most people don't think about. Um, so the year-end reporting tool for C-suite board members, uh, this is something that um, you don't normally think about, but how long would you say it takes for you to create a board-ready report? You know, it could be days, it could be weeks, um, but Veno will pull and organize all that pertinent data into either a prepared Word or PowerPoint document, uh, with complete with graphs and charts and stuff that really are that really can show the health of the organization. Um, and again, all of this is is incredibly powerful, especially with how uh, we're now forced to do business. Um, and being able to forecast on the fly and run these one-up scenarios and really be ready for anything is, is something that allows um, uh, organizations to continue to move forward uh, and move forward with the right information and move forward in a very smart and planned out uh, way. So not only can Venna integrate uh, uh, with your finance department, it, it, but it also can connect with your CRMs, including solutions like Salesforce. So from planning to close management, then is a complete package. And as of 2021, uh, I, I'm, I said this on the last webinar as well, but again, for, for those of you who didn't join, uh, then it has a leading G2 score of 4.5 stars, beating out all of the competition. Uh, there's a reason for this, because it strikes a balance between form and function, uh, something that um, I think it's, it, it, other tools lack. This next slide, I was not initially going to include, but it, it's something that I, I think um, sort of is, it, it says what I'm trying to say. Um, I, now, I'm sure some of you are uh, familiar with the story of John Henry. Uh, John Henry is a fable, um, and it's essentially a story about the perseverance when faced with change. Uh, John Henry, uh, forget for those of you who don't know, uh, John Henry was a railroad worker. Uh, and day in and day out, laid rail for the future railways of America. And one day, uh, John Henry is confronted with a uh, sleek, flashy uh, steam machine, as it was called. Um, it actually has other names in different stories, but it's essentially this uh, steam, uh, steam-powered drill that was supposed to do the work of John Henry, um, but faster, quicker. And the moral of the story was that while the steam machine was built to do what humans can do. It, it, it wasn't perfect. And, um, you know, where John Henry was able to hammer into the rock and clear out the debris, uh, the steam machine was un unable to do that. And when it broke down, it actually caused more issues uh, because of this complex nature of the system. So um, I, 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 I really think it, it really articulates the kind of this uh, warring attitude between these new FP&A tools that are essentially just trying to mimic Excel, take what Excel does and, and, and make it their own. Um, you know, saying, you know, Excel's, Excel's your, you know, your, your, your grandparents' uh, spreadsheets. Come with us. We're, we're, the, we're the new, we're, we're, we're the real deal. Uh, when in reality, um, they're just trying to do what Excel does. Um, and the problem is that when a system, a complex system like that, uh, breaks down, you're now stuck trying to work in a system you're unfamiliar with. Well, um, with Venna and Excel, you understand the system. You know Excel. 
that is just tying up the different um, the different uh, things Excel can do, but presented to you in a nice, nice tight, uh, clean package. Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, why why try to fix what ain't broke, right? Um, you know, and 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 again, if if you know the story of of John Henry, John Henry ultimately um, succeeds in beating the steam machine. And so, I think <clears throat> I think it's a <laughs> it's uh, again, sorry for for this strange little digression, but again, uh, it really I, I think it is something that uh, that needs to be said, and that um, you know, while other FDA tools try to try to do what Excel can do. Um, you know, it's no comparison. I, I, there's still some life left in Excel, and uh, and it is still honestly one of the more powerful tools. And coupled that with Dena, and it's unparalleled. And again, it allows you, the users, to to work smart and, and work um, in a way that uh, other other systems won't allow you to. So, with that, um, I'm going to pass it over to Nick. He is our uh, is my budgeting Jedi, and he is going to walk you through this uh, system. <clears throat> excuse me, and and show you how how powerful it is to use um, the Excel spreadsheets and Venet together. Uh, so I will uh, pass the mic over to Nick. Thanks, Chris. Uh, can you go to the next slide for me? Awesome. I want to do before we dive into the Venet system a little bit of a case study on. Um, Forward.org, it's a not-for-profit, uh, a, a demo instance non-for-profit um, that we've been working with and testing and setting up over the last couple of years. And I really think as we look into some of the hypothetical pain points of this non-for-profit that you might be able to see some of your organization in there. Um, and that's just going to help us as we learn more. Uh, about the Vena platform. So, Chris, if you go to the next slide. <clears throat> so, yeah, as we look at some of this, um, these pain points and business requirements, just see if you see any of your organization's uh, finance teams. Uh, see if you see yourself in here. So, first pain point for Ford.org is that the time spent by the finance team exporting data for each department, creating the different tabs. Uh, validating the numbers has increased significantly as new entities and departments have gotten created and they have no time for analysis. Second, uh, versioning and security have been a nightmare as files have been shared to the wrong people multiple times. Also, the CFO is worried that people might mistakenly access sensitive data. Pain point three, Excel workbooks are expanding and so is the amount of data it contains and now your computer is starting to crash because of the load of Excel. Or maybe that the limitations of Excel don't allow for accurate and granular planning within the constraints of the worksheet, right? You get all these formula errors, a whole bunch of tabs and lines, broken references, and too much time spent on template and report maintenance. So all across that spectrum, each organization finds themselves there with their FP&A team at some point. And the good thing about Vena is that the Vena solution and JMT, we can tackle that for you. So uh, we can provide a solution that automates all the manual activities uh, that your FP and A team needs to perform. We can create a robust security and audit uh, field platform. You know, we're going to optimize the performance of workbooks that are created in Vena. We're going to reduce the number of tabs and the volume of the data. We're not even going to reinvent the wheel. We're going to take the existing spreadsheets and reports that you guys use and build them within the constraints of the Vena system and leverage what you've already been working with. <clears throat> and lastly, the solution is going to uh, support additional Excel tabs to allow for in-depth planning analysis for certain general ledger accounts. And so the Venna solutions that are in the rightmost column, you're going to see those as we go through the course of this presentation. You know, we're going to show that you can integrate with your ERP system, whether it's Sage Intact or MIP. We're going to build these templates that don't have multiple versions and don't have 50 
to 60 tabs in different versions. You know, we're going to leverage permission and workflow to grant the right level of access to the users with uh, approvals and rejection workflows. Um, and we're just going to build centralized templates and reports. So instead of having 30 op X Excel files that you're working in, you can now use one across uh, the robustness of your chart of accounts. <clears throat> So I'm going to take you guys into the Vena platform. Chris, can you get, stop sharing your screen? <clears throat> awesome. All right, so I'm getting ready to log into the Vena database, and you'll notice that that occurs from a web browser. Um, when your organization gets set up, you'll just enter your credentials and log in. And you will be taken to this screen. Um, you're presented with a bunch of tabs, a bunch of buttons, and I'm going to walk through the key ones. But you know, as you get more uh, acquainted with the platform, you'll understand the different functions of these. <clears throat> Before I go into the budgeting process that we set up for this instance, I just want to show you something right fast. So. You know, the finance team for forward.org before they um, switched to Vena, had all these templates and reports, you know, different ones for each combination of entity and department, some that are outdated, some that are copied, some that are versioned based on scenario or dates. And it got very hard for them to track. And so with the Vena solution, you know, if we open this uh, OpEx template, <clears throat> You know, we'll see it's pretty straightforward. It's what we're used to. You know, you can put your numbers in here. It'll do the calculation, but this is pretty flat. Can't do much with this. But with JMT and Zeno, we can take this, build upon it, and make it something that is successful and um, exceptional for your FP&A needs. <clears throat> so if I go back here, first thing I want to showcase is touching that pain point of security and permission. So you'll see here for their 2021 budgeting process that this workflow has been set up for them. So uh, each entry, each block, if you will, represents a different portion of their budgeting process, whether they're inputting grant revenue or personnel salary and allocations, whether the finance department is uh, reviewing their inputs and either sending it forward to the next level of review or rejecting it back uh, for them to make edits on. Um, what the process designer allows us to do is really customize the Vena instance specifically to your workflow. Um, so that's going to change depending on what your organization needs, uh, who you want assigned to different roles, which departments or entities or projects they need to be isolated to, who can see what data, all of that is going to be controlled here. <clears throat> uh, as of yesterday, this process is live. And with the status tracker, I can see that I got 29 days remaining until all my inputs need to be finalized. I can see who has files checked out, that they've been started, that they're a work in progress, that it's going to take a couple of days before I get to the next step of the process. Um, and I can see when my due dates are. So this is a cool dashboard that is built into Vena that automatically changes as your budgeting process gets started and goes along till completion. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the OpEx input template. So I showed you that example on um, as a static flat Excel file. Let's look at that in the context of the Vena system. So I'm going to come to my contributor tab. I have this file assigned for me, for me to input my data into it's due in five days. So I'm going to check this file out. <clears throat> You're going to see down here, right, that let me annotate spotlight, that down here, it it downloaded as an Excel file. So it's no new different file formats. 
we're still using the same technology of Excel to do the inputs uh, in the Venna database. So I'm gonna open this up. <clears throat> it now looks pretty similar, but it has significant key differences. So the first thing when you open a file, you're gonna be presented with this choose option. And this is a way for you to select which slices of your data you want to view and work with at a time. So I'm gonna go to, you know, department 100, entity 100. I'm gonna work with unrestricted funds for my main location. All these funds are not associated with a project in grant and I'm gonna work in 2021. So I'm gonna click okay. Your Excel file is gonna refresh. And now all my data that's been saved in the Venna database has now been pulled into this template. So you'll see if I switch this back to 2020, the numbers change even more to represent the different intersection points of your data within the Venna system. So let's move this back to 2021 and look at the process of inputting data and viewing data from previous years. So I'm going to do all my inputs for my operating expenses in these light blue cells. These uh, white cells are pulling data from different sources. So these are all my actuals for the prior year. These are my personnel budget numbers that are being pulled in and inputted in a different template. Uh, and then here are my traveling meetings, which I'm going to show all a cool feature related to that in just a second. But let's say I am wanting to uh, input my budget for 2021, but and I can see my actuals for the prior year, but let's say I want to get a, a deeper dive into what this 30,000 represents. Well, I can come up here in this Venna ribbon, which when you install Venna on your machine, you're going to get this ribbon that contains features that static Excel does not have. And one of these features is what we call drill transactions. So as I talked about in that in-depth analysis of the case study, this company has Sage Intact as their ERP. And what we did with Venna was set up to pull all their ANZ at, at all their transaction data for actuals uh, overnight every day to be reflected in the Venna database. So I can actually go and click drill transactions. It's going to query the system and it's going to pull exactly from Sage Intact what constitutes that line. Now, if I had a record or a memo or a description in Sage Intact, I would be able to see that here whatever fields or objects in MIP or intact that you have within uh, your ERP system, we can reflect those in the Venna system. <clears throat> so come back over here and now I'm ready to input my data. So let's say under bad debt expenses, you know, I just want to put in a formula that represents you know, my numbers for last year, my numbers for this year based off of last year. So I'll just hit equals times 1.03. I'll drag that across. You know, if I want to manually input some numbers here, well, I'll put this at 650, 300, 450, 540. I can do that here. And now when you're ready to save your inputs, back into the database so that they can be visible in other reports, you're going to click the save data button. Now, this is different than the Excel saves. This save saves the values in this template back to the database, and I'll show you how. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit save, and let's say I switch which combination of dimensions uh, I'm viewing. So I'll switch it to Vance. I don't think there's going to be any data in for this combination. No, there's not. But let's say I move back to main. <clears throat> well, now I see that those numbers that I entered just a few minutes ago have been saved and retained in the database. So even when I switch which combination of my chart of accounts I want to work on, when you click that save data button, they get saved into the database. Now, let's say you're a manager and you're wondering, 
you know, where this number came from. Well, another feature on this Venner ribbon is what we call the audit trail. So I'm going to click that and it's going to show me any time this intersection has been edited. So you can see that today at 1.35 p.m., I entered in uh, the most recent value for uh, that particular cell. So and if I were to click on this in a report or a different template and click view, it would actually open up this template for me, highlight that cell so I could see who edited that value and maybe reach out to that person and figure out why. <clears throat> Another cool feature built into Venna is some the concept of line item details. Um, oftentimes with a flat Excel file, it can be challenging to, as I talked about in that case study, really get down granular with your, um, with your budgeting. So with Venna, let's say I want to look at utilities, 5502. And let's say these are the numbers that I put in, but I really want to get more detailed with that. Well, I can come up here and hit insert a line. And what that's going to do is create a new line and I can say uh, electricity. And I'm going to say that's just 2000 a month straight lines. Well, now I need to add, I'm going to get more detailed. So I'm going to add gas. We'll say that's 500. Drag that across. You can create as many line item details for a specific GL account that you want in order to allow you and your finance team to have more control and more granular budgeting and tracking with your finances. So same thing, click save. I'm going to switch. You know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to check this file in. And so when I check it out again, and it loads back up. I see my line items are still retained. So the good thing about this is you don't have to have multiple files to track where values are, which one is the most current. With the drill down feature, the audit trail and line item details, you can truly use one spreadsheet based off of your existing flat Excel file as the new place to store all your data and retrieve all your data at a moment's notice uh, without having to track down multiple people in multiple versions. <clears throat> I want to show you the concept of what we call a travel detail tab. So um, with Venna, we can often use supporting tabs within a workbook to enable more uh, granular planning and analysis. So you'll see here, I actually locked these cells down here, my travel and meeting grouping of general ledger accounts and locked those so that over here, in this travel tab, I could get more granular and specific with my planning. And so we can build these out for whatever it is. Maybe it's a technology, maybe it's IT, maybe it's um, seen instances where people use these for classrooms, you know, to count how many students or teachers they have and what the budget will be. So my travel detail input, I'm gonna hit insert. I'm gonna add an event. Uh, let's say travel for, August. You know, my employee is going to be Chris Radicone. He's going to go from New York to, say, London. He's going to go for five nights. It's going to be 500 for a rental car, 1500 for airfare. We'll let him stay somewhere nice, so 450 a day. Give him 200 for meals a day maybe 150 for entertainment. And so now I can hit, where do I want this expense to occur? Do I want it to be in Q1, Q3? Do I want to apply it to a specific month or do I want to apply it evenly? Well, 
This is for August, so I'm gonna hit August. You'll see the calculation occurring down here, but more importantly, I can add multiple lines if I want to. I need to do a lot of events at one time that are different from each other, and it's gonna aggregate and sum the results. But take that line out. If I save data here, <clears throat> And I come back on this main template and hit refresh. Those values for August have now appeared, not because of any formula references. So you'll see up here, there's no uh, equals travel tab exclamation point. No, these are all values that are being saved back to the Venna database and being retrieved real time back into the database. Um, so Last thing I want to show you is how this is just one template or, if you will, one sheet in Venna. But I want to show you how even when you query another report or template, it's going to pull that same data. So let's keep this 2500 for utilities in mind. So I'm going to exit out of this template. I'm going to save data one last time. I'm going to check this file back in so someone else can use it. Let's say I come down here to my financial reports and let's say I want to view my budget versus actual. <clears throat> so I'm going to check that out. Again, it's going to open as an Excel file. Hmm. You know what? We're going to keep this at the top level. I want to see all departments. I want to see everything for the year 2021. Now, if I wanted to filter this down, I could. <clears throat> so I don't have too many actuals for the current year, but if I come down here under my budget section, and if I go to utilities, if I drill into this number, I'll see the 2,500 that I inputted on that other sheet appear now here in this report. And if I were to just validate that and do a drill save, you'll see today that I inputted that value of 2,500. It was me that did it in the template OPEX input. <clears throat> so I wanna take time to answer some questions, but I'm gonna close this out. And I just wanted to say that this is just a quick preview of this is just a snippet of what the Venna platform can do for your organization. So if you relate to any of those pain points, whether it's version and control, security and permission, having multiple files, um, Venna would be the good solution for you as well as JMT, because what we're gonna do is walk through uh, with you as we implement this for you um, so that everything you want within the system you are able to get um so phrase sort of isn't don't don't ditch the spreadsheet but keep your spreadsheet and allow jmt and venna to enhance it for uh the next phase of your fpna cycle <clears throat> uh lauren okay. you want to take questions now yeah of course uh chris if you don't mind putting the slides back up and then, uh, yep. awesome. <laughs> uh, looks like we had one question come through. Uh, don't forget, you can still submit questions through the Q&A and we'd be happy to answer. Um, but it says, can Vina be hooked to Abila MIP instead of Sage Intact? So yes, with a caveat. Uh, I have done integrations with MIP clients. Now it's not a direct, API integration as it exists with Sage Intact, where it just happens automatically overnight. Um, we build that out for you, and then you'll just take your actual transaction report from MIP, click one button in Venna, it'll upload, and it will be integrated just like it was um, Sage Intact. Um, so we can build that uh, job for you to run. Uh, however you want to, and as Chris is going to talk about with our admin services program, that's, that's
that data integration with MIP is something we'll manage for you. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. Um, then we have another question. It says, is there an easy way to update the forecast after the next month is closed? Uh, yes, so um, here, and I'll actually show you that. Chris, can I take back control so I can share? Yeah, so Vena okay. has this tool called versioning where essentially we can take a snapshot of your data at a point of time um, and save it to a different name, perhaps forecast one, what if scenario two, where then we can remap that to your template so that you can adjust those numbers as you see fit. So you'll see here, uh, let me share my screen. Uh, in my chart of accounts, I've got a version called forecast. Well, all I would have to do is click here and let's say, um, I wanted to save my budget numbers from last year as my forecast for this year and just use that as a starting place. I could do that from this little utility um, and customize what I want to see. So yeah, there's definitely options for easy forecasting, whether it's monthly, quarterly, you know, semi-annually uh, to be done within the Venna database. Okay, great. And then another one, another question we have is with Vina, do you still use Excel or Vina will take the data from Excel and build FPNA in Vina? So uh, you still do your inputs in Excel, but your templates are connected through an add in to the Vina database. Um, so as you saw on my screen when I shared, I downloaded the Excel file from within the Venna database because it was connected. When I did my work in Excel, I was still using the sheet as if it was basic Excel, but with the additional functionality of the Venna add-in, those values were getting saved back to the Venna database. So there's no more need to have a local copy of the file because it's all getting retained back to the database. Okay, and then our next question is, can you create quarterly reports? Absolutely. So um, we have options where we can train uh, your team, the person with manager level access to build those reports, or with our admin services subscription, you get four custom reports a year. So one each quarter. <clears throat> Okay, and our next question is, can you create tr uh, trending reports with quarterly groupings instead of monthly? Yes. If it is something that you can do in basic Excel, it can still be done in Vina, um, just without a lot of the static options that came with um, Excel outside of the constraints of the Vina database. Okay, it looks like that's all the questions we had come through. Um, so just a little bit before we close out. Uh, we hope that you're, or we hope you're excited to see that we don't get, have to give up your beloved Excel sheets to gain the cloud-based security and efficiency for your nonprofit needs. We'd love to chat with you about how we can get you up and running on Vina for low monthly pricing before fiscal year end make next year's planning pain-free. Book a short consultation with our experts by next Friday and we'll send you a $10 Starbucks gift card so you can enjoy a cup of coffee on us while we chat. Just visit jmtconsulting.com slash chat to put time on our calendar and we would love to we would look forward to connecting with you. Um, so just thank you so much Chris and Nick and thank you everyone for joining us today. We hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.